Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion node breakdown. Today's node is the S render node. So we're going to jump into Fusion and we're going to go back to the basics of a little bit. And uh, we're going to start doing the S series of uh, nodes. And these are just shape nodes. And uh, you may think we already have shapes, but uh, these shapes are a little different. And the whole intent to these shapes is for you to actually create vector art. It's changing vectors into like actual data. So these are the nodes you would use when you're creating actual graphics within Fusion. And uh, I know it's easy just to grab the rectangle node or the ellipse node for a lot of stuff we're doing. But the nodes we're about to go over are a little different and their whole intent is just for creating graphics. Just like if we were to grab an ellipse in uh, Adobe Illustrator or something like that. So that's the whole intent to all these nodes. So we're going to start with the S render node because we need an S render node to be able to see any of these shapes. So I'm going to type S render and bring in a render node. And this render node is used to input any additional shapes we need to input. And we have a input. We have an effects mask so we can mask this off if we need to. And we've got an output which goes to uh, your media out or wherever you uh, need to put it along your uh, chain. And on the render node itself, it's uh, nothing exciting. <laughs> We're not going to see anything yet, but this is pretty much setting up your scene for your graphics or for your other shape nodes. So on the settings, we have a global in and global out, so we can change that. We can change our processing mode from full frames to NTSC or whatever we need to change it to. And uh, right now we've got auto resolution, so it's just going off our timeline. So it's using that 3840 by 2160 of our timeline. But uh, we can uncheck this and we can change the size if we want. Under our depth, it's uh, default depth. So it's just using whatever we have Fusion set up as or we can uh, change it individually. And then under that, we have our color space that we can uh, hit auto or we can actually change our color space if we need to. And we can change our source gamma space from auto or we can change our space or switch to log if we need to. And additionally, we can uh, remove our uh, gamma curve and we can pre-divide and post multiply this entire node and everything that's fed into it if we need to. So basically, this node is kind of our render node like we had in 3D to be able to see anything. That's what we use this node for. So if I was to bring in, say, a, an S rectangle, if you notice, we can see our little rectangle, but we need to be able to render this out. So we stick it in our little render node. So now it's actually being rendered. So that is the S render node. I will see you in the next node breakdown.